Most people in America are familiar with some concept of a deity, of a Lord Most High, because it is the reason in which we came across the seas to escape tyranny of a feudal-like lord, a king and queen of England and other places that were a part of that time period, and openly we came in the pursuit of freedom of religion. Turns out at this time in America, the First Amendment is about freedom of assembly and freedom of religion and freedom of the press, which means we do not have the right to interfere with someone's pursuit of God, and we do not have the right to interfere with their pursuit of other people and socializing and networking, and it also means that we do not have the right to censor or ruin or interfere with people's pursuit of either education or pursuit of sharing information on mainly any topic in terms of journalistic capabilities or in terms of what they might talk about that might seem odd or different to you with regard to God. In life, we have moments of time to talk about what it is to receive a reading. My point is that we all are familiar with certain passages in the Bible that talk about the Holy Ghost and the gifting that the Lord does to people in different stories and different parables that gives them prophetic wisdom of what to do, how to do it, how to win, how to be successful, and how to make up for eternal sin. You see, we have the right to access our angels only that are assigned by the Lord. No satanic force can assign you an angel. Sure, a demon could be put on you to try to force you to see your vanity, force you to see your vice, force you to see your violence and vandalism and all the vendetta-oriented V-words that are sort of ugly in this world. Most people know how to forgive and forget, but when it comes to getting a reading that is involving the gifts of spirit, which currently we call the gifts of soul, you have to be open and willing to hear it. The other thing you should always do if you're going to get a reading is to bring a notebook or a journal with you in which you can make notes. Some people who have this concept of mediumship or oracle opportunities for the Lord where they are providing you both responsibilities, opportunities, rebuke, and prophecy will often allow you to record the session so you don't miss a thing. But I still encourage people to first ask that permission and then remember that the gifting you're receiving through that channeling individual is a gift from the Lord. And it should not be shared with any other person who is not of an intimate relation to you. Because what can happen is that your attitudes and your ideologies and your feelings after having a blessing from the Lord can be tainted by a satanic force of human beings. Satanic forces of human beings are antagonists. They get off on, in their version of vice, interfering and impeding someone else's life. They get an emotional high from the power they want to disguise as help or as counsel. No one needs to give counsel to the Lord today. The Lord has a right to show you the way to Him. And if you're a true oracle of old, if you have truly given your gifts on behalf of God, then you will give enough validation to that child of the Lord that the Lord sees you, feels you, and hears you, knows you, and can bestow upon you good things for your life.